Welcome to our free online course titled, What Happens When I Can't Pay My Home Loan? Educating Homeowners, Enabling Informed Choices. Introducing session two titled, Where to Start? The course and host site, hardshipresource.com, does not contain real estate advice. The real estate information is provided for general informational and educational purposes only and is not a substitute for professional advice. Accordingly, before taking any actions based upon such information, we're, we encourage you to consult with the appropriate professionals. Before we review where to start, we want to go over the alternatives that the servicers currently have available in helping homeowners. Remember, time is of the essence, and the first alternative that is being offered by servicers today is forbearance. And in this option, the existing mortgage company permits the property owner leeway in bringing the defaulted loan current. It may take the form of extra time allowed to pay any overdue payments in return for the promise to be able to make regular payments in the future. Deferment. This is the option where an agreement is made between the loan servicer and the borrower to temporarily suspend the payment of a mortgage. Forgiveness. In this option, the loan servicer makes an agreement to forgive any past due payments or past due balance. Refinance. Option permits the property owner to replace their original mortgage with a new one. The option requires the property owner to qualify for a new loan and may also include a higher rate of interest or different rate of interest and possibly a repayment penalty. Reinstatement. In this option, the servicer requires the property owner to make the payment of the entire defaulted amount as well as any interest or fees over an agreed period of time. This option may also require the payment of any legal fees and or taxes. Loan modification. That's the request for an existing mortgage company to adjust the loan term to make it more affordable. The property owner must be able to qualify for a loan modification. The mortgage company generally requires the property owner to demonstrate a reason for a hardship to be able to receive an adjustment of the mortgage. The owner's ability to qualify and the likelihood to stay consistent with the new mortgage payments. A partial claim is the option which allows the property owner to obtain a second loan to cover any back payments, costs, or fees. Deed in lieu. This is the option where the property owner gives the property back to the bank instead of proceeding with any foreclosure actions. Now this option would negatively impact any future loan applications or credit ratings. Bankruptcy. In this option, debt is liquidated and there is a postponement of the foreclosure. Sale of the property. If the property has equity, the property owner may sell the subject property without lender approval through a conventional sale. If the amount owed on the property is more than the property value, a short sale, also known as a pre-foreclosure sale, can be negotiated with the lender. Foreclosure. If no action is taken, the property will most likely be taken by the lender through a foreclosure action. This option would neg negatively impact any future loan applications, credit ratings, and possibly certain types of employment. So let's begin. Where do I start? One, contact your loan servicer. By contacting your servicer, you are identifying what is happening with you right now. Two, determine what level of assistance your servicer is providing and have a conversation with them as to your current hardship. Three, apply with your servicer to receive the assistance they are providing under your loan for your hardship or COVID-19. This concludes the session on where to start. Thank you for attending. We hope you found the information informative. 
Please refer to the resource section for forms and links and the workbook to download. And we look forward to seeing you in the next session titled, When I Have a Government Back Loan.